Some students were arrested last night after the university says they failed to comply to orders to leave. And Daybreak's Alexander Rios Melvia is live with us with the latest this morning. Alex. Good morning, Melissa. Good morning, Pete. Now of those arrested, the university at Buffalo says some were students, others were not even affiliated with the school. But according to the university at Buffalo's policy, no one is allowed to gather overnight on campus. Now, this is why around 830 PM, which is when the sun came down last night, university police came on campus to try to break up these protesters. Eventually, about 16 people were arrested on campus and two on your side try speaking with the organizers of the protest during the protests but was told that no one was comfortable to speak with us. Now, after the area cleared, we did get the chance to speak to some students on both sides of the issue. I mean, this is happening in every university. You're seeing news about Columbia. You're seeing news about Brown. It's honestly insane the lengths that they're willing to go to do to, you know, kind of stample something like this, um, something that's very peaceful, something that's for people. I can say that the protest itself made myself, other students feel unsafe. Uh, as an Israeli, it didn't make me feel good to be around here. I had people yelling at me. I, I was holding my flag, not trying to interact with anyone. And I, I really didn't feel safe with the protest going on. Now, the university came out with this statement that says, quote, members of the university community who wish to express their viewpoints through picketing and other forms of demonstration are permitted to peacefully do so, but must not violate the provisions of the rules for the maintenance of public order of the SUNY Board of Trustees and must adhere to UB's picketing and assembling policy. Now, there's no word yet on if we should expect to see another protest later on this week. But for now, Melissa and Pete, back over to you. That camera live at UB this morning, so we will be checking all throughout the morning to see if protesters come back to continue their protest now that the sun will soon be rising. Alex, thank you. And as tensions are continuing to rise at these protests, including the one at UB, more universities are facing criticism about what some call a lack of preventative measures to ensure things don't get out of hand. Who on your side spoke with former Canisius College President John Hurley about why many universities didn't take action right after protests began on campuses nationwide. To the extent that it, rec uh, that it represents maybe a degree of caution by a university president about not wanting to escalate a situation or create a uh, a circumstance in which there could be a serious injury or even death, um, you know, prudence probably dictates that you take it slow in these matters. Curley went on to say that universities should approach these protests with dialogue and caution. 534 now.